electronics and make bass music or like dubstep and rhythm. I come from a rhythm scene, but I may I more so identify with like tear out and like weird left field shit. I've been making more weird left field shit recently. But just you know, like all around bass music, underground dubstep, uh, fucking internet culture shit. Yeah, memes. My name's Mike. <laughs> I uh, bought some blondes, I uh, smoke a lot of pot, make a lot of music, kind of the same thing. It's just crazy. I, I like to put a vibe in my music you can relate to in a certain way. You know, you don't listen to dubs up and crazy, you want to dubs up and smoke a pot. It's just what it's all about. But, yeah. So what is it that initially got you into producing the genre that you currently produce? and why you stuck with it for so long? Was it something that it was kind of like a niche? Okay, so I was producing, I was making garbage, uh, like weird hip hop beats, I guess, with like Logic and like Garage Man in like high school. And then I went through my like dub, not like, I like, uh, my initial dubstep phase with like Green and Van Gogh, Koki Mall, Digital Mystics, like Rusko, Casper, all that. Um, and I remember, I wasn't like familiar really with like the mid-range stuff, um, but like the real old Rusko, um, I like got reason because the internet told me that uh, they all make that stuff with reason. So I got reason, failed at it, watched point event tutorials, uh, basically ended up giving up until I got Ableton. Um, and I was making like pretty much like, you know, I, by that point I got into more, I guess, popular um, music. Um, Puppies! I basically started talking to a bunch of kids on the internet. Um, I got involved in like the underground dubstep scene, basically. Um, and I started talking to like tear out kids and basically like I grew up being a hipster and I got into like mainstream EDM for a little bit um, when it kind of first broke out um, but as soon as I realized there was like an underground for dubstep I was like that's what I fucking identify with um, so then I kind of really just got involved with that like kind of SoundCloud Facebook scene um, and making friends and then kind of went from just making like bass music that's like super generic and you just tell it's like someone who's learning how to make bass music trying to make songs to where I started to like really identify with a subculture and like a movement. And then once I kind of latched onto that and started to like build upon my tool belt of techniques and production, sound design, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, it just started to sound more unique and it would just always sound like me. Um, and as I've gotten more comfortable with exploring that and pushing those boundaries, um, I think I've just sounded more like myself over the years. And now the goal is to just, I guess, make some sort of fucking subgenre, you know, of just something more in between tear out and rhythm, um, left field weird stuff. Um, but just anything interesting, you know. When I got into the music, I like I fell in love with the vibe that it, like it was creative and it was perform and you can listen to it as well. But like I fell in love with when it was perform, you can give it like a certain I don't know, there are certain DJs that I really love, like Arl Grime, he has a certain vibe you can feel during his whole set, Grizz has a certain vibe you can feel during his whole set. I fell in love with that, and I, like, I guess that gravitated when I started making music, because I started DJing before I made music, and I started like, you know, being a resident around Tampa, you know, taking jobs like that. But when I started making music, I tried to create my own vibe, and that was just, that's what I really uh, keep in the front of my mind when I'm making music as much as I, as much as I can. But uh, yeah, I like to uh, yeah just really focus on the vibe and that. I guess the DJs that I when I got to like you know the rave scene started going out to shows and shit. That and it kind of reminded me of like the hip hop shows I'm when I was younger and like you know the rock shows when I was younger, the world tour and shit. But, Nothing really got me like dubstep did or electronic music did. Just dance music got me in a certain way. And I don't think you can replicate without, you know, without having, without getting through the outfit. You know, that's what it does. So I just try to go for a certain vibe. I think that's what I What would you say is the biggest way that music has positively impacted your life? Probably not even related to like dubstep at all. It's just like the amount of times I've been in a really bad spot or just like been sad as fuck or just like been really stuck in one mind frame or stuck in a spot in my head and can't get out of it and then I'll hear something and it completely rips me out of that. Um, yeah, that's like my entire life. Anytime something bad has been happening, I'll hear something and music is just like, fuck pharmaceutical drugs or any even regular drugs. Like music can affect your brain more than anything else. And so like the way that has come into my life when I'm unhappy is actually insane. Like completely outside of how I've ever worked with music or anything like that. Like that's, music helps me a lot on a daily basis. Even just like sitting on airplanes being like, you know, like, oh, tired, I don't wanna sit on airplane, you put on like a Mac
back to another song, you're like, fuck, oh, this makes me feel better. Like, it's just that kind of thing. Like, that's, that's what I love about it. Also, it's like, yeah, it's infinitely grateful for, you know, like, providing me with, you know, shelter and income and ways to buy food and that kind of thing. That was never in my wildest dreams would I ever consider that to be a possibility. So it's insane and, oh, insane and surreal that that's possible um, and I'm happy. Uh, but I, I still think that the best thing that's happened to me music-wise, I mean, like, yeah, festivals and that kind of thing and, you know, um, meeting awesome friends and that stuff, but honestly, it's just the fucking joy that listening to music brings you. Like, it just makes you feel better all the time. I was pretty, like, uh, I was in, I was pretty kind of lost on what I wanted to do in my life. Um, before music. Bad I was, like, I had shitty grades in college. Shitty grades. I was in college to like because I thought that's what you're supposed to do after high school and I was just like not paying attention in class and I wasn't there to learn, I was just there because I was supposed to be and it, it, it kind of it put me in a really sad place and then um, music took me out of that and it it, it let me be, like I, I, I really didn't know who I was, it sounds kind of cheesy but like I was just like, I was wearing the clothes that my friends were wearing and, I was smoking the weed that my friends were smoking. I was just like, I wanted the things that my friends had. And when I started, when I started, you know, expressing myself through music, it sounds pretty weird, but like I, I started, I was able to express myself in real life. I felt more confident about who I was as a person rather than trying to be accepted in different ways. And I think that that helped a lot when I, you know, music, making music allowed me to be more confident in who I was. So yeah, that. Thank you.